Welcome to PeaceMag TV. In today's video for WordPress, we're going to be starting a new series on developing a professional eye-catching website for zero cost. There are no commercial plugins or themes going to be used in this entire series. So I'm going to get you up to speed on creating a good quality website. We're going to look at free stock images, great quality options when it comes to rivals to the commercial options for things like sliders and page layout, free themes, and a whole lot more. So if you think this is something that you're interested in, hit that subscribe button to be notified when we release new tutorials in this series. And for now, let's crack on with the very, very first part. So to kick off this first part in this new series, we're going to be taking a look at two plugins that rival their commercial alternatives. These are completely free and really open up the function that you have inside WordPress. Now normally I use Visual Composer as a page layout tool for my clients and I use Slider Revolution 5 as a slider layout tool for my clients over their websites. So in this video we're going to check out two free alternatives that give you almost as much power but without spending a penny. So without further ado let's check the first of those two out and we'll start off with the slider option. So if we take a look at my install of WordPress, you can see we take a look on the left hand side, we've got Elementor and we've got Smart Slider. Now we've covered Elementor in a lot more detail in another video and I'll link that in the description below and also up in the top right hand corner now so you can check that out afterwards if you want more information on how to use it. But for, for now we're going to start off with Smart Slider and then we'll go back and take a look at Elementor in more detail. So let's click on Smart Slider and take a look at the interface. Now, as you can see, this is a very, very quick piece of software to load up. You click, it's almost there instantaneously. So we've got this interface that's laid out in a nice, logical, clear and concise format. And Smart Slider comes in two flavors. This is the free version. You can obviously purchase the commercial version, which is the pro version. And you can see there's a GoPro option there. However, you're not really having a cut down version. Yes, there's some nice features you have in the pro version, such as templates that you can download and use as the basis. But if you are comfortable using a slider, Smart Slider, the free version, gives you a whole range of functionality for zero cost. So we will only focus on the free version in this series of videos. So let's have a quick look at the interface, see how it kind of laid out and see what kind of tools we've got available to us there. So as you can see, we've got a pretty clean interface to start off with. We've got the option for our sliders and down the left hand side you can see we've got all the sliders in our slider list. We then have settings which we can click on and take a look at the settings and you can see these are broken down into three different subsections. I'm not going to go into too much detail with these. We'll have a video course that's going to take you through how to use all these plugins in a lot more detail than this series is going to give you but you know stick with it. So if we go back to sliders, let's take a look at what we have in the main section. You can see we've got a whole range of things like helpful videos, first class support and so on. But let's go and take a look at the slider. Now I created one previously, which is a sample slider one, and I've also got homepage. So let's check out homepage and that'll load in. And you can see I currently have three slides set up in there. And if we take a look at the main section, you can see we've got a range of different options available. We've got general, we've got size, autoplay, optimize and other and we have underneath we've got how we can deal with the navigation of our slider and we've got a whole range of different options there different types of navigation whether they're evident or not where they're positioned and so on we also have things like bullets so we can specify if we want to use bullets in there the autoplay option for the slider the bar that's being displayed to show any information and so on thumbnails if we're using those as an option to navigate through and shadows for a design option we also have the short code that allows us to insert this into our page layout. However, if you're using this with Elementor, then you also have the ability to just use the drag and drop environment to use this as well, which makes it even easier to work with if you want to work with a virtual drag and drop environment, which I would highly recommend if you're comfortable or if you, if you feel more comfortable having an environment where you don't have to worry about short codes and knowing any of the code that WordPress kind of relies on. So. We've got the short code. We've also got how to use the the post or page editor, and also there's a bit of PHP code if you want to insert this in your template file. Underneath that, we've got the general, where you can see there's a range of different options to do with the slider that we're working with, the size, the autoplay, optimize, and other, and so on. So we can preview this to see exactly what it's going to look like. So if we give it a click on there, we'll see this is our slider. You can see I've got some uh, some 
different sections on there. We've got a button on there. We've got some descriptive text with link in it. We've got a, an effect where we've got a, a semi-transparent background to highlight the text. We can also see what this will look like in the preview on different size screens. So you can see we can jump over to a tablet or we can jump over to what it would look like on a phone. Or we can just use this slider to see how it looks on different size screens, how it renders out to different sizes, which is a great option. Really, really quick, really easy. And we can click on the X to close that down. If I want to add any more slides, I can easily do that. I can just click on add an image slide and you can see that'll take me over to my media library where I can immediately go and choose another file to insert. Alternatively, I can click upload and upload from there. So great range of, of options there. So what I'm going to do is where I've created this, I'm going to just jump in and show you Elementor in a moment. And then we'll take a look at how you can use this in the page layout itself and how it all integrates into each other to make your life just a little bit easier. Okay, so there we have the very, very basics of Smart Slider. Let's just jump over now to Elemental and take a look at how we can use that. So if we come up to one of the pages, so I'm just going to come up to my pages and choose All Pages. Yes, we'll leave that. You can see I've got two pages created at the moment, and we're going to take a look at how we can use Elemental and how we can use that alongside the slider as well. So let's give it a click on the Elemental page. And that'll take us into our normal WordPress page, but you'll see the WordPress editor isn't available on there. We can switch back to it if we want to by clicking this button. Alternatively, we can click on Edit with Elementor and we can open up the Elementor editor, which will give us that nice drag and drop environment. Now, like I said, I've got a much more detailed tutorial on how to use all this. So this is just going to be a brief overview and show you why I recommend this as being a great visual drag and drop editor in your free website. So let's take a look down the left hand side and you can see we've got a whole range of different options available to us. We've also got WordPress options and as I said earlier on, we've got the smart slider option down the bottom there which allows us to just drag and drop that into our page layout. But all these are native elements or widgets as Elementor calls them that allow us to drag and drop those onto our page which as you can see, we can see right here now. So. Don't worry too much about this. This is just because I've got the uh, the slider set up in there. So it's just looking a little bit weird at the moment. But what you've got is a nice, easy drag and drop environment to work with. You can see as we mouse over any of these different sections, we've got a little serrated box that tells us exactly what type of box we're working with, the size of it up in the top right hand corner. We can remove these, we can duplicate them, we can edit them, we can adjust the column, we can adjust the section. You can see we've got a whole range of different options. And if I click on any of these, so say for example I click on this image, you'll see on the left hand side that now opens up context information based upon the element or the widget that we've currently clicked on. In this instance we've got this picture. So you can see we can choose the image, we can choose the alignment, we can add a caption to it, we can specify if we want to link to something, whether it links to the media file or a custom URL. So again, if you're used to WordPress, you're going to find this kind of thing is very, very familiar to you. We can also then jump over to style and we can style the way that that actually looks. We can also style the caption on there. We can go to the advanced section and you can see we now have the option to apply things like margins, padding, where we want to animate these objects, give them CSS classes so we can target those and apply specific CSS to individual elements by basing upon the class we have there. We've got background and border, so you can see we've got a whole range of options in there. And if you take a look at the image that I've got, you can see we've got a border, a gray border around it. We've got a drop shadow. All these things are set up in there. I can choose how I want this to interact with my responsive design elements. So in other words, how I want it to show up, whether it shows on a desktop, a tablet, or a mobile. So you could easily build up web pages that are responsive based upon the type of device they're being viewed on. So you can hide certain things and show other things based upon whether it's on a desktop or a tablet, which is great if you want to create a website that is optimized for uh, you know different devices. And again, this is completely free. And one of the reasons why I suggest this one to be such a great visual composer alternative for free and the fact it's blindingly fast. Now, I might be using this on uh, a local host. In other words, I'm using it on my own machine, which is already very quick. However, using it on a server, it's still blindingly fast. And that in itself is a, a reason to be checking this out. So you can see that we can easily use these different elements, move them around, align them and do different things. We can just delete them. So let's go to the top here and I'll just get rid of this. So we say, yes, we want to delete that. So now I can just drop something else in there. So let's come back to our widgets. So let's click, jump back to those. And then we'll scroll down 
and I just pull up the smart slider, drag that up and drop that into this particular holding block. And you can see now that we've got this element inserted. The next thing we can do is we can give it some information about what to do. So as you saw earlier on, I showed you that I've got two sliders created. So let's just choose from the two that we have available and we'll choose home page. I can put a title in there if I want to. And you can see as soon as I put home page in there, it automatically loads that in for us. So we've got that set up. I can come to advanced if I want. I can apply any margins or padding. And again, I can do the background and border, choose whether I want to display on a responsive device or not. I can choose whether I want to use pixel values, M values, or percentage values for the margins and the padding and so on. I can animate this. There's a whole range of things you can do. So that's basically how we insert that in there. Once we finish, we'd hit save. That'll save that out. And you can see again, very, very quick to work with. If we want to make any changes to any of the elements on here, we can easily just come in click on them and choose to make any adjustments on there. Or we can click to go back to the, the widget chooser and choose what we want from there. So I highly recommend taking a look at Elemental and I highly recommend taking a look at Smart Slider, the free version, because they're two great options to get really creative. And if you're the kind of person that doesn't necessarily understand how the short codes and things in WordPress work, or you really don't want to get your hands dirty, you start to mess up with the code side of things, then these two give you really great options to create really good looking pages without having to worry about any of that underlying code that's going on there. And like I say, completely free. So that kind of rounds up where we are with this first video. In the next video, we'll take a look at some more plugins and we'll take a look at some free themes that I'd recommend starting off using. And we'll install those, set them up, and we'll take a look at how all these things start to interact with each other. But I hope you found this introduction video useful. I hope these are two plugins that you think are worth checking out for your own website. All applicable links will be in the description below, and I'd love to hear your feedback on this video. And if you use these plugins or you've got any suggestions for alternatives that are completely free, pop those in the comment section below. We'd love to see what you have on offer. Well, until next time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week and to be kept up to date with this particular new series that we're offering you. Well, until next time, take care.